Get ready to be amazed. OpenAI has just launched a revolutionary new model, GPT-40, and it's set to change the game in ways you won't believe. Let's dive in and explore its mind-blowing capabilities, including a sneak peek of its sense of humor. You don't want to miss this. The O in GPT-40 stands for Omni, highlighting its multimodal capabilities. This means GPT-40 can process and understand information from text, images, videos, and audio. Now let's look at the capabilities. First off, straight out of science fiction, we have a near real-time translator. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. This innovation will create amazing opportunities for underserved populations. But that's just the beginning. Pairing it with the next capability makes it even more powerful. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water, probably looking for food, and then pop back up. GPT-40 can take audio prompts and video inputs. This creates a device that can see your environment and interpret what's happening around you. It will be revolutionary for individuals with visual impairments. When combined with devices like Meta Smart Glasses, this technology could significantly enhance your ability to learn and interact with the world. Travelers would benefit too, exploring new locations without the need for a human tour guide, as AI takes on that role seamlessly. Speaking of learning, how about a personalized tutor at your fingertips? With GPT-40's visual capabilities, you can point it at different types of problems or ask questions, and it will guide you through the solutions. It's like having a teacher in your pocket, ready to help whenever you need. Tutoring someone in math on Khan Academy. So let's get it started. It's loading up. Right, so I can see our screen. Actually, in, in this form, Hello there. I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite? adjacent and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Perfect. Correct. correct. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, really, Remember I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now imagine if AI could see your screen and understand everything on it. GPT-40 makes this a reality. So I'm going to open the ChatGPT desktop app, like Mira was talking about before. OK. And to give a bit of background on what's going on, so here we have um, a computer. And on the screen, we have some code. And then the ChatGPT voice app is on the right. So ChatGPT will be able to hear me, but it can't see anything on the screen. So I'm going to highlight the code, command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT. And then I'm going to talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with uh, a coding problem today. Of course, I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? Okay, I'm gonna share with you some code, one second. Sure thing, take your time. Okay, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Awesome, thanks so much. 
And in the code, there's this function foo. Can you describe to me what the plot would look like if I had versus didn't have this function? Sure. The function foo x y takes in a data frame x containing temperature data and a window size y for calculating the rolling mean. It smooths the average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature columns by applying a rolling mean over the specified window. With the foo function, the plot would show smoother temperature lines because the rolling mean reduces the noise or fluctuations in the data. Awesome. This makes... Thanks so much. So yeah, I definitely will want to apply this function. And so I'm gonna uh, generate the plot and then show it to you. Give me one second. Absolutely. Take your time. I'm excited to see the plot when you're ready. Yeah. So, so far, ChatGPT has only been able to see the code. And now I'm gonna run it and then I'll use the vision capabilities of the ChatGPT desktop app so it can actually see everything going on on the screen as well. Okay, ChatGPT, I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one sentence overview of what you see. The plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. This breakthrough will streamline workflows for countless individuals and significantly reduce the technical burden on non-technical users. And for a bit of fun, GPT-40 can even show you its sense of humor. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. Though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it, I got it. What do you think of these amazing capabilities? How would you like to use GPT-40 in your life? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest tech innovations.